This is the fly we're going to tie on the video. This is the Laker Taker, and it's a bunny fur strip tandem fly. Got a couple of trout beads, gives it a little bit of rattle. It's connected by a piece of wire leader material, very durable. So let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Got our streamer hook, start thread. Bring it down to the bend of the hook. This fly uses primarily bunny fur strips, so I've got them pre-cut here. This is going to be the strip for the top of the fly. So I've got the hair pulled back. I want to get that secured up on the top. And the bottom strip is going to go in upside down like this. And we're going to get that secured right there. I'm going to use a hair clip. Get that fibers for the top of it out of my way. And we're going to bind everything down good and tight. So I have my buddy the pug here. So if you hear random snorts and all of that, it's not me. And then I'm gonna pull both of them back and use the hair clip to keep them back. Like so. I'm gonna come in here, get the thread down. So the body is going to be body braid. So I take the body braid and I'm going to tie it down like this. I'm going to run the body braid long so I don't end up with a bump. So I'm going to go towards the eye of the hook. Get everything down. Come back. Body braid can be a little stubborn to work with, so you gotta use plenty of thread to get it on and keep it crunched down. And just bring that forward. Unclip the hair and we'll get. I kind of pull this a little tight. Get that top wing down first. Kind of make it tight. I want it nice and tight to the body braid. And then we'll flip it. that nice and tight. Got the bottom wing on. And trim that off. We'll start making the head for the fly. Let's 
good enough for now. So last up, we are going to add some flash. So I don't need a lot. I'm gonna do about three or four, I think. And it should be enough. I don't want a ton of it because it just can get hung up. So I'm gonna put this in on both sides. Do this side. side out there I'll trim that now we're just going to make the head of this fly. Check our other side. We're good. I'm going to whip finish that. on this so drop a UV cure makes a nice head on streamers And that's the tail fly. So here's how we do the front part of this. We've got some 35 pound wire leader, which we take our tail fly and we're gonna just that through the eye on the tail fly. We have two trout beads that we put on. To have a little loop about that big on the second fly. So I'm going to set that aside and start our thread. And we pick this up. that in get it so it's going right down the back of the hook shank and we got to get those through the hook eye tie everything down tight bring this this is going to have to get cut So we got that caught, bring it under, okay, so we folded that under, 
bind the whole thing down. And the reason for the second hook on this fly, lake trout, like a lot of other salmonids, when they're hitting a bait fish, they tend to hit it towards the tail. So if you had just like one hook, you'd have fish hitting that you weren't hooking. So years and years and years ago, one of the guys that I wrote about my Adirondack book. He started making the tandem flies and that's the reason why he did that. So that, that you would hit those fish that are biting short. The next thing is we gotta get our rabbit fur strip set up. So we got a, a longer strip that's gonna come down past the bead back to the tail fly. So that's gonna go about like that. So we'll just take and get the fur apart. And I'm going to take the, on the front end, I'll fold that all down. I'm just going to put a hair clip on that for a second. And I'll do about three wraps and get that down. And then that's all going to come back. I broke my hair clip, but fortunately I have another one. So keep that all like that for a second. And our next rabbit fur strap is going to lay like this, about like that. So we got to get the back end in. So I take and take about an eighth of an inch and I cut the hair off of it. So that gives me a tie-in point for that one. So we're going to fold that back. And that's going to go like that. So we tie it and just about this and the hair tends to fight with you but there we go just lasso it get it in place and we'll do a couple tighter wraps on that and we turn everything over and get the bottom strip and you got to watch out for that tail fly while you're tying because you'll end up hooking yourself on that. So you got to be careful. So we're going to clean up a couple loose hairs. And we got body braid. We're going to start that right there. And go all the way down to the back. the front kind of tighten everything down bring our body braid in Like I said, you end up fighting with the bunny for a little bit. And we'll trim that off. So now the fun part. Okay, here's our top guy. No, that's our bottom guy. The thing's twisted a little bit. Okay. 
All right, so we got it all sorted out. Here's the top strip, and here's the bottom strip. Bring the top down, and actually I'm gonna start with the bottom. So we're gonna bring the bottom up. Couple wraps, pull it tight to the body braid couple tighter wraps and we'll trim that one off Bring the top down couple loose wraps bring it tight tighter wraps and we'll trim that off and the whole time you're tying this you gotta watch out for that back hook that you don't dig it in your hand and I speak out of experience because I've done that so we'll start making the head of the fly just to make sure those bunny strips are gonna stay secured now and the next step put some flash in so we're going to grab a little bit more than we grabbed for the tail fly take it cut it in half one bunch down and this is going to go back towards the tail fly like that so we're going to get those strips in on this side and I'm going to roll it over and get the other strips in on this side so they're the same length and just like everything else with this fly they're all going to be in the way so we'll trim the ends off Make a few more wraps. We got one more step, which leads to the final step. Okay, these are going to be the cheek feathers. These are a uh, feather off of a hen pheasant breast. So I'm going to put one there. that down good. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. off just finish the head of the fly
bigger fly like this, you gotta turn it over and make sure you're getting all the tinsel and stuff covered up with the thread. And whip finish. And I'm going to use UV Cure for the head. So the last step is I'm going to glue a holographic eye onto those cheeks. So for this, I'm just going to get so for this, just going to put a drop of super glue on there. Get an eye. top of the super glue. Then I'll flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just get a good drop of super glue in there. And get an eye. And that's all there is to it. That's the Laker Taker. Oh, and by the way, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. I appreciate everybody joining in. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I've got new content coming out on fly tying, and we've got fly fishing videos, and even some traditional bow hunting stuff, and occasional outdoor stuff like kayaking or traveling in our airstream. So everybody's welcome. Uh, feel free to send me comments and I get back to everybody. So thanks for watching.